Hello everyone. Welcome to Mida short video series. In this video, we will be talking about reinforcement definition for any plate element and how do we perform the design for that. So the very first step is like whenever we are dealing with plate element, as of now you can see I am having a RC slab bridge. So when I check on the elements, here you can see all these are the plate elements. So the very first step is to go under the node and element tab and we need to define some domain for it that will be considered to provide any reinforcement and also to perform any design for that. So first I will give the name. Suppose I give this as side, then the element type I am choosing it as plate and I will be selecting the element list in that domain. So I select these elements and I click on add. Once this is done, now I will be defining the subdomain to that. So I select that and under the subdomain, we need to assign the member type. So I give sub side and member type as it can be plate beam 1D or plate column in case it these are vertical elements so it will be the plate column for horizontal it will be plate beam 1D and we can also have the shell elements so based upon that the degree of freedom and the bending of the elements will be changing I select plate beam 1D and the reference axis like you can choose it as Libra direction as local UCS or reference I'll choose it as local axis that will help me to define the rebar in the main axis and the distribution rebar in the second direction so once this is done I click on add so you see like my subdomain has been defined so now when you go to the subdomain you double click it you can just check that here once that is done then again we perform the analysis first and then I would go under the design option and here under the RC design like you can choose the relevant code whatever code along which you want to perform the design so I choose RC design and here you will see the rebar input for plate beam so I will first provide that we can give the name and then accordingly we will be giving the main reinforcement and the distribution rebar so suppose I choose the size as 10 give the DD as 0 0.05 that will be my effective cover and these are the top and this will be the bottom reinforcement for my deck or the slab then I go to the distribution I can give the spacing center to center and then the size correspondingly for the distribution you can choose how many layers as well there is present I am choosing just one layer for now So we have given the reinforcement in this manner. Now I need to assign this reinforcement to my subdomain. So for that, I will go here. Rebar input for plate column. While here you will see rebar input for plate beam and plate beam data for checking. For checking, I will go here and I will be selecting the domain. So there are two domains. If you see here, like this was the earlier one that was defined the mid domain while well, this is for the side domain that I just defined so I will be choosing sub side in this manner main rebar direction as direction 1 and from here I will be choosing the side rebar and I click on add so in this manner like you can choose the main rebar direction either it is 1 or 2 if I want to modify it I will just do this and click on modify so once this is done you can perform the design for that as well click on plate beam design and that will define design the elements for me and you can have the result as well in this manner so this is the result as per detail while well, these are the graphical result obtained 
so we have the top and the bottom moment that is coming on the elements and then the corresponding load combination and then the ratio for that similarly for the shear capacity so in this manner likewise we can deal with any reinforcement definition for the plate beam elements and similarly it can be done for the plate column elements so i hope this video was helpful for you see you in the next thank you